Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos to get you the trial information you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that'll set you up for success on your farm. Hey, today we're at the PTI farm, we're scouting some corn right now, and I thought we'd take an opportunity to take you into one of our newest trials at the PTI farm. Uh, this is a new plot from Pivot Bio, looking at a product called Prove N. And this is an interesting story, um, looking at this agronomic study. You know, soybeans, a lot, of, a lot of farmers are really familiar with soybeans, knowing that we don't have to apply nitrogen to soybeans. But yet, soybeans actually need nitrogen, but they're pretty smart. They convert nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it to use it. And I've always kind of kidded around with farmers saying, boy, you know, wouldn't it be great if corn could figure that out, convert nitrogen uh, to use it itself, and it'd save us a lot of money. And environmentally, it'd be great too, because we'd have to apply less nitrogen on a per acre basis. Here's how this works. So Pivot Bio and the Proven product, it's a replace synthetic nitrogen fertilizer with microbes that adhere to the plant's root system and feed the corn crop every day. So we've got a couple key players going on. And, and I guess first and foremost, this is not a genetically modified material at all, okay? This is a, a naturally occurring uh, product. But the key players in this are diazotrophs, and that's the nitrogen-fixing microbe in this product called Proven. Okay, and then we've got a nitrogenase that is actually the nitrogen-fixing enzyme. And these two things work together, and it colonizes on the corn root that allows the corn to actually fix nitrogen. And so what we're doing in this study is we're trying to prove whether this corn and the Proven product can get by with lower rates of nitrogen without sacrificing yield. And one of the things I, I really am thinking about with this study is, what if I put less nitrogen on so that's savings for me as a farmer, right? But environmentally, this is a great thing because I've got less chance of nitrates leaching or denitrifying, which could be a bad thing environmentally. So I also think about, well, what if I've got this colonization on the root system that continues to work for me every single day and allows me to finish this corn crop. One of the biggest things we're seeing this year on the farm is we're kind of running out of gas when it comes to nitrogen. We've had so many large rains and we've seen the denitrification and the leaching, moving that nitrogen down too deep and our soil nitrate uh, test results right now are coming in very low. And I just wonder what this product, can we keep with this colonization, keep creating this nitrogen? to feed this corn plant to get us through the end of the season without sacrificing, sacrificing too much yield. So we're out here in the field. This is where we've done some of our Proven applications. And what we're doing is we're reducing our nitrogen rate by 45 pounds to the acre. So our normal nitrogen rate for first year corn is 180 pounds of nitrogen. Um, that's the rate that's kind of showed up the best over long term um, in our research. And so we're adding the Proven and reducing the nitrogen rate by 45 pounds. Again, hoping to not sacrifice any yield while lowering that nitrogen rate and uh, hoping to get some pretty good bushels out here in the field. I think you look through here and we're not showing any signs of nitrogen deficiency. I think this thing's going to work for us, but we'll take a look at the numbers at harvest time and see how this thing plays out. So placement of the Proven from Pivot Bio is really interesting to me because we've got a product called FuroJet is, is a three-way band and we can take the center band, which is right next to the seed and to colonize on the roots as this seedling grows. And so what we're doing in, in the study here at PTI is we're looking at different placements in the, in the center, the wings, adding fertilizer with this. Now, in my opinion, probably what we wanna do with this is keep the starter fertilizer separate from the Proven. So one of the things we've done is on our planter, we've got two tanks and two pumps. One tank and pump would be to apply this product here, the Proven, right here in the center, and then we have a different tank and pump where we can direct a starter fertilizer here separate from the center in, into these wings. So one of the fears is, as we look at the biology of certain products, if we add a starter fertilizer, it may degrade that product. So we wanna keep them kind of separate so we're not killing any of the bugs off, if you will. So FurrowJet, I think, is the perfect placement for this Proven product. So today's Inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is we're doing some, some research on this farm, so hopefully we can reduce some of our crop inputs like nitrogen. We're looking at, at products like Pivot Bio's Prove N, 
and we're putting this to work in the field and evaluating, can we reduce our nutrients like nitrogen without sacrificing yield? Some of the things that, that we're looking at this year. We hope to bring you the yield data this fall. Stay tuned for more details. We'll bring it to you. You'll be able to get our yield data from any precision planning local dealer. They'd be glad to give you that in information. In the meantime, stay tuned for more details. Thanks for watching.